racing to the Breeders' Cup, just 23 days away. Let's get you up to date on all the contenders and take a look at two divisions, the Breeders' Cup Sprint and the Big Ass Fans Dirt Mile. Yesterday, Enabash Ganbat announced that Mongolian Groom will be pointing for the Breeders' Cup Classic. They're going to pay the $200,000 nomination fee. And right now we're looking at a field of possibly 11 or 12 horses in the entry gate for the Breeders' Cup Classic because Elate is going to cross-enter both the Distaff, but their first preference right now is going to be the Breeders' Cup Classic. And Elate may not be in her best form, but she does add some forwardly, forwardly play speed that could kind of mess up a couple of other contenders. So it'll be interesting to see with Mongolian Groom, he went to the front in the Awesome Again Stakes, and Elate, who can race close to the pace, how that affects how the race shakes up on the front end, especially with McKenzie and a couple of other contenders in the race. Meanwhile, looks like Wicked Whisper is all set for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. And the other big news is that Catalina Cruiser is still considering the Breeders' Cup Sprint and the Dirt Mile. I think he's going to go to the big-ass fans Dirt Mile eventually. So you take a look at that Breeders' Cup Sprint field right now, and your top contenders are looking like Matoli, who is a, a strong sprinter this year. He also won the Met Mile. Chancelot, second place in the Santa Anita Sprint Handicap. Meanwhile, you've got the Pocket Rocket, Imperial Hint, and Engage rounding out the top four. Now, Omaha Beach, who beats Chancelot, still considering the sprint, but that's a pretty tough foursome to try to overcome, especially on that front end. And maybe Omaha Beach may be better served going to the Dirt Mile, where right now the Dirt Mile top contenders are Catalina Cruiser and Forenze Fire, along with Improbable and Mr. Freeze. To me, it looks like Omaha Beach would be a lot lower favorite in the Dirt Mile, and it's a logical progression coming out of that Santa Anita sprint, which he was really asked to dig down and lay his belly down down the stretch to beat Chancelot right on the line. I'm just not so sure what a sprint victory would do, but a dirt mile victory would be another victory against older horses. It would be close out the campaign with four wins in a row and really kind of prove a lot of breeders like that dirt mile speed. So I'm leaning if Omaha Beach does bounce back out of that uh, sprint race that he's probably going to race in the big ass fans dirt mile. So it looks like Engage is already out. Uh, looks like they're going to point towards the sprint and Improbable continues to work out. And I think we're going to end up seeing him in the big ass fans dirt mile. Meanwhile, other classic contenders continue to hit the track. It looks like Vino Rosso is still going to be going. And Tacitus is not going to be entered the classic. He's going to be resting the rest of the year and point for some of the races in the spring and come back for a 2020 campaign. So that is a look at how some of the Breeders' Cup contenders, really that Breeders' Cup Friday, still a lot of the contenders coming over from Europe to be determined. Uh, the Jessamine Stakes from Keeneland going to determine some of the fillies in that race. So your Futures Friday still in a state of flux but some of the fields starting to shape out. And once you get past the top four or five contenders, uh, you know, I think you're going to still see some horses coming in and coming out. It looks like Snapper Sinclair is going to go to the Big Ass Fans Dirt Mile and a couple of other, uh, maybe even Airstrike or a horse like, uh, we're going to see how it shakes out on the sprint end with a couple of those uh, West Coast based horses, Desert Law could be going to the sprint. So that's an update Wednesday, October the 9th as we're just 23 days away from the Breeders' Cup. Who do you like in the sprint? Who do you like in the big-ass fans' dirt mile? Leave a comment below, share the video, subscribe, and remember, ring that bell for notifications. As we lead you up, we'll be previewing all 14 races of the Breeders' Cup and possibility of even doing a couple of uh, live broadcasts the night before on some betting and possibly the day of the race on that Saturday, November 2nd. As we keep you up to date, hit subscribe and remember, ring that bell for notifications leading you up to the Breeders' Cup.